Alrighty, so today I'm going to be reviewing this mechanical eraser right here. This is the Tombow Mononoc 3.8 mechanical eraser, which I bought in Japan. And uh, for the last couple months I've been using it, honestly, it's been fantastic. I've really been enjoying using this eraser, and I'll, 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 I'll say something that uh, I don't say a lot, I will admit. In fact, I almost never say this because um, I've never really had um, particularly many positive experiences with mechanical erasers. I really like mechanical pencils. I've never really had any positive experience with the mechanical erasers, though. They all tend to break on me after a couple months or something like that kind of thing, or they're not really mechanical. They're just like clicky erasers or something like that kind of thing. It's more like an eraser holder than an actual mechanical eraser, but this is an actual mechanical eraser, and I think I can say that this is probably my favorite mechanical eraser of all time, and I really do mean that. I really, really, really do mean that. I really like this eraser. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think first off, what I want to go ahead and show y'all in this review is how this eraser looks, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how it works, and then after that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this mechanical eraser, this mechanical eraser's, uh, well, erasing ability. But I do think without further ado, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at how this eraser actually looks. So the entire eraser is made out of plastic that has a blue tinge to it. We can see there's a little bit of a grip right here, and then in sort of a uh, metallic, very dark, deep blue. It just says um, Mononoc 3.8 right there. There's two like little lines right there and whatnot. And then we can just see there's a little bit of a butterfly right there. And then it just says Tombow right there. And then it just says E-H-K-E -E, made in Japan. I bought this in Japan, so it definitely makes sense why it was made in Japan. And running your finger over the text, there is a little bit of a texture to it, but not anything significant, I will admit. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to the look of this pen. We can see there's a little bit of a Oh, how do I uh, describe this? This is a little bit of like a, a shirt uh, sort of clip or something like that kind of thing. So you can clip it to the inside of your shirt, to the inside of your um, a collar or, or something like that kind of thing. Uh, works pretty well if I do say so myself. We can see the barcode on this side right here. I can't remember how much this pen cost me. This pen cost me, this mechanical eraser cost me, uh, but I do remember that it really wasn't that much. I think it was something like Oh, I want to say like maximum 400 yen, but I think it was less than 400 yen. And 400 yen is like, I want to say three bucks, a little bit over three bucks USD. Really, really, really cheap if I do say so myself. Um, now, I will admit, I said I wanted to demonstrate how this mechanical eraser works. And I do know how it works. You just click the top, just like that kind of thing. And the eraser comes out. And when you want to put it back in, you just push like that kind of thing. Pretty easy. Works just like a mechanical pencil and uh, a mechanical pencil. And it is just as reliable as a mechanical pencil as well. A lot of mechanical erasers I've had have been unreliable, inconsistent, very annoying, I will admit. This, on the other hand, works great. It's really, really, really simple. It works fantastic. It is consistent. You get the consistent length every single time. It works fantastic. Uh, now, is there actually a way? There is a way to take this apart. Okay, I've never actually taken this apart before, so uh, I'm learning with you guys today. Now, let's see if I can actually... Oh, okay, I see the issue now. I need to take this end off. There we go. And then I can take this off. There we go. So here's the lid. Here's the middle. And then here's the rest of it. And we can just see that essentially all the lid is doing is just clicking down on that right there. And that's all that's happening. That is all that's happening. So very, very, very simple mechanism. Not really difficult at all to uh, understand or use or anything like that kind of thing. Very nice mechanism, but very reliable mechanism and very simple mechanism. So I certainly have no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Let's go put this back together, though. And I do think without further ado, it is now time uh, for me to go ahead and demonstrate this eraser's well, erasing ability, I do suppose. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab my Soho Urban Artist sketchbook with uh, some 75-pound paper, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up to a blank page if I can. There we go. Is this a blank page or does this have something on it? I think this has something on it, but maybe it's just shining through. Nope. There's actually something on that. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, pencil graph gear 500 mechanical pencil and, and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draft all over this uh, page right here just for a moment. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this eraser's erasing ability. So I've just got to go ahead and just do this real quick. I'm just going to try to fill up all the, the rest of the bottom of the page, and then I'm going to go ahead and start at it. 
I should have definitely chosen a larger lead mechanical pencil or pencil, or just pencil in general though, in all honesty. All right, that should be good enough. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, draw a fish with this mechanical pencil right here in the graphite with an eraser. Did I say this was a mechanical pencil? No, this is an eraser. Um, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a fish with this mechanical eraser right here, starting off with the jaw. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the jaw, just like that kind of thing. There we go. We can see right off the bat, this is working pretty well if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and go over. And let's go and do the tail, just like that kind of thing. And let's go ahead and go down, and then just like that kind of thing. And there we go. We can see that's lining up really well. Let's go and do an eye right there, and another eye right there. And let's go and do a fin right there. And that's not coming through super well, so let's just make that a little bit uh, deeper. Give that a little bit more width. And let's do that again, and again, just like that. <sighs> and there we go. And let's go and do some teeth now, just like that. There we go, just like that. And I'm pretty sure that's it. I think I wanna make this look a little bit deeper. I think I wanna do the same right here. And I think maybe I wanna go over some of these lines again, just to make sure I really get them looking the way I want. But no, as we can see, this uh, mechanical pencil works really well. It's just ripping up the graphite off of the page. Works really well. There really are no issues with it, in all honesty. It definitely is one of the most consistent, well-working erasers, mechanical erasers that I've ever used. It's uh, not the biggest eraser in the world. It's also not the smallest eraser in the world. It works pretty well for both detail and for... Um, and for just overall, of course, if you're trying to erase this entire bit of graphite right here, it's not going to work very well. It's just not very big. Um, but if you're just trying to erase like little details and everything like that kind of thing, this is pretty good. But the details can, cannot be too small by any means. I'm trying to figure out how I can get all of this stuff off without... There we go. Cut it all off. I didn't want to smear the graphite or anything like that kind of thing. Uh, but there we go. There is the fish that I drew with, well, my mechanical eraser. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Overall, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I am a pretty big fan of the Tombow Mononoc 3.8 eraser. I really do like it. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about uh, in this video is the weight of the eraser. It's something I don't really consider when I'm looking at mechanical erasers. Uh, the weight of this eraser is very much... Um, it's it's pretty evenly weighted. It's a very light eraser. It's made out of plastic after all. But if I had to say um, where really it was weighted kind of thing, it's more evenly weighted than not sure, but it is more weighted towards the bottom than not. But I feel like the spring and everything like that kind of thing makes it a little bit more evenly weighted. Um, but no, it is definitely a little bit more weighted towards the bottom, uh, towards the uh, nib than not. The top is definitely very, very, very light. That is for sure. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to cover in this video, though. I uh, certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my review of the Tombow Mononoc 3.0. That's not everything I wanted to cover in this video. I can't believe me. I can't believe me. I, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know whether I'd buy this eraser again. Yeah, I would buy this eraser again, 100%. The Tombow Mononoc been great. I would recommend it, uh, it as an eraser for you guys to buy. If you guys like mechanical erasers and you guys want a reliable eraser to use on a daily basis where refills are not very expensive and they're common, at least in Japan, um, yeah, no, this really is uh, one of the best mechanical erasers on the market in my personal opinion. I really, really, really do like it. And it genuinely is one of the best mechanical erasers I've ever used. Although to take what I say with a grain of salt, as I've only ever used like four or five other mechanical erasers, um, but most of them have broken after a couple months of usage. And I've been using this eraser for a solid, like I want to say three months now. So I, uh, I, I would say this is definitely not like the uh, other mechanical erasers I've used previously, that is for sure. I have faith that this mechanical eraser will last for years to come. Let me just put it that way. I uh, certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Though. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. And of course, please make sure, as said, did I say this, uh, to like and subscribe for more content. Of course, please. Um, I can't remember if I said that. I'm all over the place today. It is what it is. Um, but is there anything else I wanted to say? I think that was it. Thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?